A chaotic scene unfolded over the weekend in Indonesia where Bring Me the Horizon was performing. The band got about midway through their set when they were pulled off stage by their team. Apparently the stage was shaking and the video walls were as well. There were concerns about the truss and they were worried about some sort of a collapse that could happen which would be horrific. Ultimately the band made the correct but difficult decision to cancel that show mid-performance which outraged members of the audience. Multiple members of the audience, numerous members of the audience ultimately rushed the stage, made their way through security, got up on stage, they were throwing objects, they were tampering with the band's equipment, which is never a good idea if you want said band to come back to your country, uh, or other bands who also see this behavior. Ultimately, most important to the bands that perform is the safety of their audience and themselves and their crew. And uh, this is not a good look when you have people rushing the stage in this way. Brings you back to that Knotfest incident where Evanescence had their gear damaged and stolen and uh, a lot of safety concerns with that as well. So, Ollie Sykes released a statement saying that they ultimately tried to make the second show, they were scheduled to perform two dates there on the same stage, tried to scale things back, but ultimately the decision was made that it just wasn't safe. And there are some pretty surprising videos of that stage being rushed with numerous people up on stage, some singing Bring Me the Horizon songs, some damaging their equipment. Here is what unfolded in Indonesia. So as you can see here, you have people going up on stage, messing with their drum set, possibly taking items, throwing objects up on stage. Security trying to clear the stage out. They were ultimately unsuccessful. The stage, as you can see here, was jam-packed with disappointed Bring Me the Horizon fans on stage singing their music. Look how many people are up on the stage there, too. You talk about a stage, they were already concerned about buckling. How about putting uh, what looks to be at least 200 people up on stage? You know, and most of these fans are just blowing off steam. They're up there, they just want to sing the band they didn't get to hear from. Very unfortunate. Bands do not enjoy canceling shows. They like performing for their fans, and uh, it also is quite costly when you do that. But here's Ollie Sykes explaining what led up to this cancellation. Yo, Indonesia, how's it going? Ollie here. Um, I'm just here to give some context on last night and what happened. Um, so obviously, while we were performing last night, we got pulled off after one of our songs due to concerns from our crew and some of the local crew that the staging, the truss, and basically a lot of the venue was structurally unsound. Um, it was bouncing so much that the, the, a lot of the video monitors and speakers and basically everything was bouncing at a, a really concerning amount. And um, yeah, there were serious concerns that something could happen um, with the, the structure, something could fall, something could hurt people or worse. Um, so we had no choice but to cancel the show um, unfortunately due to that situation we can't play tonight either we've looked at everything we can do you know we 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 kind of suggested that we take our video screens away that we take our lights away we just play like some kind of stripped back vent show um, but this is a tough call but obviously safety is paramount for concert goers and when the stage doesn't appear to even be able to handle the weight of the band performing with it probably have to cancel so a uh, tough decision disappointing but they probably made the right call. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates.